Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be discussing leak detection in gas piping. Last month's gas bill was substantially higher than what it's been for quite a while and although we're stepping into our winter months, it rose disproportionately to how often we've been running our heater. Painting this gas line has been on my mind for a while now but it just hasn't gotten done. Um, it was upgraded when we had a new heater installed and they didn't paint it before they left. I thought this would be a good place to look just in case there was a leak in my piping. Now to make the solution that you're going to need to identify where a leak might be in your gas line, you're going to need to hire a professional. From what these professionals have told me, it is equal parts sodium hydroxide and dihydrogen monoxide. You might also need a professional to help apply this solution to your pipes because handling it can be pretty tricky and actually observing where the leak is coming from takes a trained eye. All right, now I know you've already explained this to me, but I'm having a hard time following you. Can you let the audience know what is going on here? And all you gotta do is spray the pipes down with the connector, and I see it looks like the connect here and connect there and connect there and there. Once everything is sprayed down with our solution, look closely at all the connections to see if any bubbles are forming. Those little bubbles there are normal. As long as you don't see them getting bigger and expanding, it should be good. But it looks like right there, we have some bubbles forming. And that might not be too good. Yep, yeah, see them expanding? So We've got we gas leaking out right there. So what do we need to do to find it? And if you get close, you can kind of smell it. It's not a very big leak, but it's there. I don't know if that's why my bill jumped. Um, oh, that's overflowing. Or what, but uh, I'm sure it's got to be at least contributing to it, right? Can I just no leaks right there. None Looks there. like my work might be done here. No leaks on the back Oops. side. Oops. All right, now that we've identified where our leak is at, we're gonna need to shut off the gas, disassemble the piping, um, make that connection better with some pipe dope. And um, actually also, we're gonna paint this today too. I'm gonna um, remove as much of that rust as I can with a wire brush. We're gonna get it painted. What's pipe dope? I'm glad you asked. Pipe dope is my preferred method of connecting gas lines. It's almost a guaranteed secure fit. I didn't do this one, so I'm, I'm not sure exactly what was used on that connection, um, but it, it almost seal, it seals the piping 100% every time that I've used it. Uh, I like it a lot better than using Teflon tape. Remember, if you're gonna be shutting off gas to your house that um, you'll probably need to relight uh, your furnace um, and your water heater or anything else that might use gas that has a pilot light. So Go I've got this wrench on here. Now I'm going to pull it. And it just comes up right easily. Mother's coming, baby. Like it's coming off the floor, real close. Come right out. This pipe is spinning with it. It was not in there tight at all. It doesn't even look like there's any thread sealant on it. That's a tight fit. Oh, so close. I think I'm gonna have to take this off too. You might have to do this the hard time way. <laughs> I can smell gas. I know. If you're gonna paint something that was previously rusted, make sure you uh, get as much of that rust off as you can. Um, you know, if you're spraying any of that soapy solution on there, wash that off as well and uh, dry it really good.
which might be, I mean, seven. The dough fitting, or whatever you call that thing. It's a thread salient, but most people call it pipe dope. Is the recent yellow, or is that just how it was made? Um, no, lots of companies just use different colors. Some, some are blue, some are white. And in it goes. Twisting it very much like you went away and you got it. This... That's not leaking anymore. Yep, that's not going to leak. In case they try to find it. Clean. Let's put that pipe kind of like dough, but dope. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the new pipe that we in. Ooh. Well, it's closing. So, the dust. It'll hold it steady. And the video. It's really important to have the right tool for the job. Oh. Mom's wrench. Seven wrenches. Mom thinks all of these wrenches are the exact same. Wait. Look at this wrench. Hold on. I miss you wrench. Big, big difference. And it is silver. Okay, six are red and one is silver. This Just one is small and this one is big. This one has a different way to adjust. Big difference and coronavirus time, so keep my mask on. Can I help do it? Sure. Did no leaks. No leaks? No leaks. <laughs> it's Friday, it's my birthday, happy birthday.